a fluid flow is given by he has given one equation that is uh, it, it is not velocity potential function because it is not phi it is not phi and as well as uh, it is not psi also okay so here is a velocity v it is given so velocity v he has given one function okay next find the shear strain he is asking the word find the shear strain rate and state whether the flow is rotational or irrotational we need to check the given function velocity function v is rotational or irrotational so this is a type 4 but the previous uh, video lectures we discussed type 1 type 2 type 3 if you are not uh, seen those video lectures and if you have any doubts in understanding how to solve the numericals on those three types uh, you click on this uh, link it is given in the video lectures click on the link and you understand how to solve those three categories of numericals so it is a photo i will write the given data solution step number one first you will write what he has given in the question given data the fluid flow is given by so velocity he has given so we will write velocity function 8 x cube i minus 10 x square y and j component find the shear strain rate so shear strain rate is uh, represented by for example my dear student just to remind uh, remember the uh, newton's law of viscosity in the newton's law of viscosity that is a tau is equal to mu into du by dy in this equation tau is shear stress mu is a dynamic viscosity so this ratio of du by dy that is change in velocity with respect to y it is called velocity gradient or it is also shear strain shear strain so this is the shear strain with respect to velocity u in y direction please try to understand the meaning u velocity in y direction he has considered in the newton's law of viscosity so in our given numerical in the solution we need to consider the velocity v in x direction also the vice versa the opposite of this okay that you can't see a strain rate you need to consider both velocity in both directions and we write the formula that will write shear strain rate okay shear strain rate i will write the formula don't worry just for time being i will write in words the shear strain rate is how much and also you read the next line what he has asked and state whether the flow is rotational or irrotational this is the condition that is type number four i told you only so type four rotational or irrotational how will you decide it is a rotational or irrotational is uh, based on the value of omega x omega x omega y and omega z uh, do you remember we wrote uh, the equations of uh, these three in the previous video lectures also we discuss how to write uh, rotational in x direction how to write rotational component in y direction how to write a uh, rotational component in z direction as well so here uh, we need to check which rotation axis he is asking so in the velocity function x component is given and y component is also given so x is also moving towards the right or towards the left depends upon the value of x and y and y component is also given so x is given y is given means the rotational is along z direction only okay so we need to calculate the value of omega z is equal to how much okay this is the form formulas the given data and we'll write the formulas step number two in the step number two we will write the formula for first shear strain rate now i will directly write v know that because uh, we discuss in uh, newton's law of viscosity as well we know that 
shear strain rate is equal to half of the partial derivative of u with respect to y this is a what function we are discussed in newton's law of viscosity here we have taken a d that is a, a finite differentiation method because u is function of only y in this equation there is no x component in the newton's law of viscosity but in the shear strain rate there are two functions velocity is dependent both on x as well as y so we cannot take finite differential method we will go for partial differential method so do u by do y plus do v by do x okay u is dependent on y so it shows that v also dependent on x in other direction so v is dependent on x so we have to find the value of do u by do y and we have to find the value of do v by do x then it will become easy for calculating shear strain so this equation what i do i will take it as equation number 1 the given function i will take equation 1 so this equation i will take 2 okay now you find the value of velocity u first because we need u and as well as v then we'll differentiate with respect to x and y then we'll substitute in equation number 2 to get the value of shear strain rate so now i need to find the value of u so uh, i will go to step number 3 Okay, in step number three. Again, I will write the equation number one as it is here. I will copy the equation one. So v is equal to eight x cube i minus ten x square y j. So the component of i term I will take it as u. So this equation you compare with v is equal to u i plus v j plus w k anyway here it is only two dimensional is given so we cannot consider we neglect omega that is w direction okay well i will say the alarm z direction is neglected so we compare these this equation with the given equation then i will write u is equal to 8 x cube correct then i will write v r is equal to here is a component of y z that is minus 10 x square y over this is a velocity component in x this is velocity component in y direction that is there is v but now what i need i need do u by do y and i need do v by do x and as well as i need do u by do x to form value of omega also so for that reason first i will calculate do u by do x so if you differentiate with this equation u with respect to x what you will get 8 as it is it is a constant so a differentiation of x cube is 3x square so there i will get 24 x square is the value of do u by do x similarly you differentiate uh, u with respect to y also because i need here do u by do y understood because i need do u by do y in equation number 2 so yeah, as well as you calculate do u by do y so in equation u in the component of u velocity there is no y term so only x term is there that is 8 x cube so this will be treated as constant when you are differentiating with y so do u by do y is 0 i hope it is clear for you right so next on the right hand side so i will make differentiation okay like this you will understand easy now i will di differentiate this equation with respect to x first so do v by do x is equal to here both x is also there y is also there and you are differentiating x the y term x as a constant so to i will take 10 y outside okay so into what is the differentiation of x square with respect to x is that is 2x so is equal to 
minus 20xy is a value. Similarly, I will differentiate v component with respect to y. So when you are differentiating y, the other terms x as a constant, so 10x square with minus sign is constant. Differentiation of y is 1. Understood? So I, I have written as it is. Okay, right. Next, what we do is, we will substitute all the values, all the uh, ratios what you have calculated here. So from equation number 2, from equation number 2, so I will minimize it. Yes, you can see both equation 2 and what I am writing on the screen as well. Okay, now step number 4. So from equation 2, CS strain rate, CS strain rate is equal to 1 by 2. What is the value of, uh, what is the equation of dou u by dou y? Where is the dou u by dou y? Here is a dou u by dou y. Substitute as 0 plus, plus as it is here in the equation, here in the equation it is plus. So you write it plus. Then what is the expression for dou v by dou x? Where is dou v by dou x? Yeah, here is a dou v by dou x and this is the value. So minus 20xy is the value or equation. So now you simplify what I will get. So this two and this two get cancelled. So minus 10xy is shear strain rate. In short, from my right, shear strain value is minus 10xy. So in this given numerical, he has not given the points at comma 2, comma 3 or 3, comma 4. If it is given, calculate shear strain rate at point 2 comma 3 then you substitute x as 2 y as 3 then you get a definite number but here he has not given any condition like that so next i will go to step number 5 to find the value of velocity rotational component in z direction okay i gave a hint how to remember the formula for a rotational component also so i hope you remember the hint it was given in the previous video lecture. So now I will write step number 5. Uh, there are three velocity components like u, v, w in x, y, z direction respectively. Okay. So when the given function is given in terms of x and y, so to neglect z direction. So corresponding x direction velocity is u corresponding y direction velocity is v. So the omega that is rotational along z axis is function of these two. It should be function of these two. So I will write directly here. We know that if you have any doubts in understanding how to write the velocity component in x, y, z direction, please click on this link, uh, video lecture link. It is given in the description box also. You click and understand uh, what is uh, uh, rotational component and how you need to write the formula. So rotational component along z direction I will write. I told you why because here the function v is given in terms of x and y only. There is no z. So in z axis there may be possibility of rotational. That is what you need to find out. So omega z is equal to dou v by dou x minus dou u by dou y. I given a hint how to write these three, this equation. So anyway, I will also give here. One more time, I will explain what is the hint. So if you are writing for z axis, first you take z. Okay, then after z, it will be x and it will be y. So if you are writing for z axis then first you take velocity component of the last term velocity component of what last term that is y velocity component in y direction is v so divided by you write this term that is x dou v by dou x okay next minus 
minus. Now we take velocity component in this direction. That is u is a velocity component. And differentiate with respect to the last third term which is left. That is y. So dou u by dou y will be the equation. First you need to take the last term minus last term minus the second term or the first term here it is okay that is what uh, i have written here so last term is dou v by dou x minus the second term is dou u by dou y is equal to half dou v by dou x the function of dou v by dou x i think we have already calculated in the step number three yes it is there here dear students minus 20 x y is a function of dou v by dou x or equation of dou v by dou x that i will substitute here minus 20 x y minus as it is it is given in the formula dou u by dou y is zero i think yeah here there is there here dou u by dou y is zero you substitute uh, here so close the bracket so velocity component along z direction is equal to this is 0 this 2 uh, minus 10 yeah minus 10 x y is the value of velocity component still we have not uh, determined whether it is a rotational or irrotational and what is the condition for rotational and irrotational that is step number six it is easy condition for rotational or irrotational is if the value of omega along z direction if it is equal to zero if it is equal to zero then it is irrotational flow irrotational so value of z if it is not equal to zero then it is rotational so here if the value is equal to zero or not equal to zero so here it is not equal to zero so it is Okay. Any doubts? Uh